This video demonstrates an example of uh, logs, blocks and deadlocks in the Oracle database. So I have taken an example uh, with Scott schema and the table department is what I use in this example. Uh, as you see on the screen I have used two putty sessions as the user sessions and one putty session as the uh, DBA session. So I use this one uh, first one and uh, the second one for the uh, session user end, end user sessions and the third one will be used as sysdba so as i told you i'll be taking scott schema as an example let me connect to scott schema here and also to scott schema here So consider I have performed an update statement on one of its tables called department. Let me go and see first of all what is the data in my department table. Now consider I have run an update statement on this department table. So as soon as I run this update statement so I cannot run this right okay so let me take another example of changing department name to admin where department number is equals to 50 so I have just committed or I have just given an update statement in the table department now with the Oracle concepts that we know uh, there is a lock called row exclusive lock on this particular row of this table called department on which row on this row so let me uh, first of all identify whether this particular object is logged or not from my sysdba session this is the third one which is my sysdba session let me identify if this particular table is logged or not in the database so for that i have written a small query which i'll execute directly on this session to identify the logged objects in the database so this is the query which will which it is a simple query where I have actually combined v dollar logged underscore object view uh, and also db underscore objects dictionary to find out which object has been logged in the database currently. So uh, if you have multiple in in real time, it is possible that number of uh, tables will be in the locked state if you consider in a particular second. So you can use the where filter and apart from this condition, you can also use another uh, where clause with the and and say that filter with the username also that is also possible if I just give enter here you will see that there are two tables which are actually blocked one is sorry locked one is Scott table and the OS user is Scott and the object name is department and the lock mode is 3 and the lock mode 3 uh, as we know that it is row exclusive lock uh, so uh, because of the update statement that I have fired this particular uh, table is locked with row exclusive lock now this is how we can identify locks in the database and the lock modes in the database right so now let us identify what is blocking them so as you know that this particular row is now locked by this particular session if somebody is trying to change some data can be he might change location or he might change department number he it can be anything it he, he might have uh, tried to change either location or department he will be under blocked state so let me try doing that on the another session so using update uh, department set I'll take that location is equals to again let's say USA <coughs> where it's department number is equals to 50 if you just say this see I cannot see any result out of this because this particular session whoever has updated something in this particular row is blocking the current session here this is called blocking so to overcome this blocking the only possible things are as soon as you run a transaction in the database either give commit or rollback so that other users can do their transactions or if the blockings are not controllable from the application end 
we as DBAs have to release a session which is blocking for so long. So first of all, as the blocking is already created in the database now, let us identify the blocks in the database. For that also I have again written a small script so that I will execute on my sysdbs session to identify the blocking sessions. So this is a script which I actually written with the help of uh, v$lock and v$ session to identify uh, what are the blocks in the database and as I told you before if you want to filter blocks for a particular session ID or for, for a particular username you can definitely add another where clause condition here you are happy to do that so if I just give enter here I'm sure that there should be only one blocking in the database that is see that uh, this is the blocking session which is actually blocking my uh, this particular session so the blocker is the Scott schema and the waiter is also the block schema so when I say blocker this is the guy who has actually done the update sorry so this is the guy this guy is blocker and this guy is waiter so out of this result and I've also shown what is the blocked object name and I've also shown that since how long this blocking is there so this blocking is almost for almost 1 minute and 41 seconds if I run this again you see that the blocking has went up to 2 minutes and 26 seconds as I have told you uh, once this first transaction gives commit once this transaction gives commit definitely this lock will be released and the update transaction that you can see here will be updated I am now giving enter now just see the difference there so as soon as I have given enter here this row is updated so that means my blocks are released if I just go and run the same query for the blockings now you have no blockings in the database so what I'm trying to say is the blockings can be automatically released by the database only with appropriate commits or rollbacks for a transaction this should happen through the application so if it is not happening definitely people will come back to us and identi to identify the blocks and the only thing that we will do is we will get the permission from the application team to, uh, to release the session which is blocking too many sessions on the database that is what we will do in real time now let me explain you what is uh, deadlock and on the oracle database deadlocks are automatically identified by the database and they are released by the database so when I say you what is deadlock, deadlock is nothing but it is like uh, cross blocking. When I say cross blocking, let me explain you that with the example of the data that I have here. Consider there is already a transaction on this row. Which one has been transaction? This transaction which is currently active, right? So that means that this particular row is actually locked by this session, right? now consider this particular session is locking this row now let me do that so update department set d name is equals to change it to something called service and where department number is equals to 10 so what happened is this particular session has got a lock mode 3